Yo, what's good guys? Peter here, man. We are back with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. As always, today, guys, we've got the best sharpshooter build in NBA 2K19. This is a highly requested build from you guys. I've made a few build videos. I think I've made three, but uh, this is one I get a lot, especially like people asking questions in streams. They're like, yo, what sharpshooter build should I make? You know, I want to be able to shoot. Uh, should I make a peer? Should I make this or that? So I figured I'd make this video for you guys. We're just going to get right into it. So make sure you drop a like down below if you haven't already. As always, we're going for 500 likes on this video. And if you are new to the channel, Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notice to join the family. You guys don't want to miss any more 2K19 content, man. We're dropping videos daily. Anyway, let's get right into the build, man. Now, the first thing we have right here is handiness. Now, honestly, just go with whatever works for you. I would honestly go with what you've done before. Like, if you've ever made a 2K player before, uh, what handiness was he? It's just easier. Uh, you remember more things. Now, of course, we are into the position, and you're going to want to choose shooting guard. Now, the reason why you don't want to pick point guard is because, well, you want somebody else running the point guard. You know, this is a pure sharp build. This isn't like a playmaker. You're not going to be running point guard with this build. Also, there's no like animation glitch, so you're not going to have all these like pro animations like people had last year. Like people would make very short sharp shooters and just run point guard with them. Also, you don't want to be a small forward because, I mean, you don't need to be 6'10". You know, a, a pure stretch is seven feet in this game that's pretty much a pure stretch so if you want to be that tall you might as well make a pure stretch anyway now we get into the archetype obviously the primary skill is going to be three-point shooting now some people debate between these two shot creating and pure i'm just going to get straight to the point you want to choose a pure sharp shooter i understand a lot of you guys might want to also you know shoot off the dribble but with a shot creating sharpshooter, first of all, you can't shoot nearly as well from the three point line, nearly as well uh, from limitless range. But also with a peer, you can actually shoot moving shots pretty well. You know, you don't really need to have this shot creating. You know, if you have a good moving shot on and you time it correctly and you're open, most of the time you're gonna make, you know, moving mid ranges and stuff like that anyway. So you wanna go with a pure sharpshooter, you are going to be nasty with this build. You're gonna be shooting from like half court greening and just wait till you get takeover with this. So of course you wanna go with a pure sharpshooter. Also, let's look at the badges that you do get uh, for being a pure sharpshooter. So you get five Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame corner specialist, Hall of Fame deep branch that I, which is buffed this year, Hall of Fame limitless range, Hall of Fame catch and shoot, and Hall of Fame free throws. That's really good. You also get gold mid range that I, gold tireless score, gold quick reflexes. You get difficult shots, pick and popper, teardropper, and up and under specialist on silver and defensive stopper and charge card on bronze, which is kind of weird for being, you know, a pure stripe. But these badges are very good. These five Hall of Fame right here, especially like really, really good badges. We'll get into the caps, of course, at the end because they're gonna change as we change the height and weight and all this stuff. Your height is going to be six foot eight. You guys see why we wanted to be a shooting guard, right? Because the point guard can only be six, six in this game. And that's honestly too short. You know, a lot of point guards that are going to be actually running point guard are like six, five, six, six, somewhere around that range. Six, eight is actually the tallest you can go with the shooting guard on this game. And that height is really gonna come in handy. You guys can see right here in the top right, your three or your three point rating is barely sacrificed. Like it only goes down like this much and you get a lot of height for it. And obviously height helps a lot uh, in 2K. So of course, I'm gonna choose six foot eight. Now into the weight. This one, I don't know why people mess this up. I mean, it's pretty obvious with this build. Uh, you're, you're pretty tall, you know, you, you want to minimize your weight. You want to be as low as possible. Just think of what you're sacrificing. Okay, contact dunk, strength, and box out. Like, probably not going to get contact dunks anyway. And you're also not going to be rebounding like that. I mean, you're a guard at the end of the day. You're going to be spotting up for threes and stuff like that, right? And this is also going to help you with, like, lateral quickness and speed with ball, stuff like that. You're just more agile around the court. So you're going to make your weight as low as possible with this build. Keep in mind, this is not, like I said, a point guard build. You're going to be running two guard on, like, the threes with this build or maybe if you're playing rec or something like that uh you're not gonna be running center and you're not gonna be running point guard with this build now we have the wingspan probably what people mess up the most on this build you're gonna want to make your wingspan go all the way down i mean six eight with a six ten and a half inch wingspan like that's not bad and that's what you are right here so it's not like your arms are super short like smaller than your height and look at what you get you get a huge buff to your open shot mid-range open shot three basically the whole point of a sharpshooter is to be able to shoot you want to shoot better then make your wingspan lower and you're only sacrificing like steel blocks stuff like that i mean you're not a lockdown and because you're tall anyway and you're fast because of your weight uh you're not going to be like pushed around a lot on defense i mean pure sharps actually have pretty decent defense it's defense is more about like iq you know what i mean matter of fact let me show you guys what happens when you make your wingspan go down keep in mind a default wingspan this year is actually the same as a max wingspan from last year in terms of like 
uh, the, I don't know, the length. Obviously, we're going to go through all the caps later, but just look at the open shot three right here. So you have an 89 open shot three with a default wingspan. If you make it max, which that's like the last thing you want to do, your open shot three goes to an 84. At that point, you're in like play sharp range. So that's really small. I mean, that's definitely not good for a pure sharp shooter. Now look what happens when you make your wingspan go all the way down. 94 open shot three. And if you boost that, that's 99 and 2k confirmed that you can go over 99 with like boost and stuff like that so imagine a 99 three-pointer because you boost it with takeover that's 109 and then you have hot spots so that's like 119 i don't know man but wingspan makes such a big difference and you don't want to be missing shots because uh, you didn't make your wingspan the right length on my personal player which is a play sharp you guys can check out that build video uh, after this uh, i have t-rex arms and i get plenty of steals if you guys watch me play. So let's just take a look at the attributes real quick. You actually get pretty good layups, you know, mid 70s on uh, standing layup, driving layup 71, shot close 76. Doesn't really matter too much. You're standing dunk and driving dunk. That's like 50. Contact dunk is 40. None of that really matters. Now we get into what matters. Contested shot mid 86, open shot mid 95, moving shot mid 93. So remember when I said, don't make a shot creating sharp, make a pure sharp. This is why you get a 93 moving shot mid range. Contested shot 387, open shot 394, moving shot 389, ball control 70. That's just enough to put you in the tier two of dribble animation. So that's good. That's also why you want to make your wingspan max because you still get those tier two dribble moves. Speed with ball 68. That's actually pretty good. You know, that's not too slow. Pass vision, pass accuracy 75. And your post fades 74, not too bad. Box out 60, rebounding stats 70. Uh, steel 68, still not bad. Block 55, shot contest 54. Vertical 73, lateral quickness 75. That's actually pretty good. You actually got a buff for that uh, for making your weight go down. Speed 69, acceleration 71, strength 55, and stamina 99. All those stats you know, at the end don't matter too much, but you guys see this build is very good. It's the best sharpshooter build in NBA 2K19. Probably one of the best builds for threes if you wanna still play guard, but you wanna be shooting lights out. That's gonna be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed enjoyed. Like I said, best sharpshooter build in NBA 2K19. Go out there and start shooting some threes, man. Sorry for the short video, guys. I mean, this was a build video, so I can't make it too long. But again, make sure I drop a like down below. As always, you're trying to hit 500 likes. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notice, all that good stuff. Join the family. We're on that 80k grind. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.